This is iMagic's 1982 release, Atlantis, for the Intellivision video game system. Here you can see some lovely artwork on the uniquely stylized iMagic game cartridge. And here's the insert. And consequently, if you're collecting Intellivision games, uh, the insert overlays for the keypads, it's uh, something you want to definitely make sure comes included in the game you purchase. Because in a lot of games, it's kind of crucial. All right, let's slide it in the old Intellivision 2 console and power it up and give it a try. See how it looks today. All right, like many Intellivision games, you have to first input some data before you can actually start a game. And this is where the keypad overlays can be crucial sometimes. Like uh, selecting the number of players doesn't necessarily correspond with the numbers on the keypad and uh, difficulty levels likewise. Now what we have here with iMagix Atlantis is more or less a reworked, overhauled missile command. You use the Intellivision control disc to move a reticle about the screen uh, and try to aim and calculate your trajectories uh, to shoot down various flying enemies. I believe they're called Gorgons in this game. And this game feels and plays very much like Missile Command. If you're a fan of Missile Command, you'd probably enjoy this game very much, actually. But instead of defending unnamed cities from thermonuclear annihilation, you're actually defending the lost city of Atlantis. From space aliens at that, too. I mean, this game's pretty much got everything. It's got mythological cities, uh, ancient giant mirror death rays, which is actually what you control. And this is one of the earliest games I can think of that had a day phase timer. By that I mean that as you played, uh, the environment changed from daytime to early evening uh, to nighttime. And in fact, your goal in this game is to protect the lost city of Atlantis for as many days as you can. The graphics and sound for the game are pretty good. They're very much on par with the high quality that I Magic uh, tended to put out for games. One of the highlights, I think, is the explosion animation uh, that is displayed after you blow up an enemy Gorgon. Now let me talk about some of the not-so-fine points, and that's the control. And as I've said before in previous Intellivision reviews, the Intellivision controller is just uh, horrible. I'm not a big fan of it. Some people like it. I just don't like it. It doesn't respond well, uh, especially uh, an older controller. It doesn't hold up to age very well, and uh, it's not very responsive. So it makes controlling your reticle fairly difficult, unless you happen to have an extremely responsive controller, but I don't even think they were that responsive when they were brand new. Uh, this game would be played much better with a trackball, but I don't think there was a trackball controller you could purchase for the Intellivision. Uh, though you might be able to try and uh, use a ColecoVision trackball, it may work with this game, I'm not sure. I've never tried to use a ColecoVision uh, roller controller on anything but a ColecoVision. The fire buttons in this game are placed on the sides of the controller. There's two buttons per side for a total of four buttons. Um, but you only need two of them. The two on any particular side you feel comfortable using. And one controls the right uh, laser thing, and the other one controls the left. But the buttons are placed in a very awkward position, and it makes it quite uncomfortable and not so intuitive to uh, use. I particularly like the night setting in this game. It had a really interesting feel, and it presented a real challenge with the, uh, the black night sky and the spotlights illuminating your targets. One last thing I'd like to mention is that this game was originally developed for the Atari 2600. And it was uh, subsequently ported to a couple other systems after the development of it for the Atari 2600. And in the 2600 version, you actually had three functioning laser guns. In this version, you only have two. And I'm not sure really why they designed the Intellivision version that way. It's just a rather curious footnote. Anyhow, if you have an Intellivision and you come across a copy of Atlantis, definitely pick it up. It's a good time. If you're a fan of Missile Command, this game is definitely for you. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.